What are the best oils for hair growth? And are there any hair oils that actually work? If you struggle with hair shedding, thinning, or breakage, guess what? You're not alone. In fact, more than 80% of people experience some degree of hair loss in their lifetime. And in this video, we will look at three of the best oils for hair growth because not all oils do the job. The truth is some work better than others. We'll also look at how each of them work and what to look for in a product. If you guys are new here, this channel is all about helping you make informed decisions as well as be in the know when it comes to your health and wellness. And I would love for you all to gently tap on that like button down below. And if you really like the content, then consider subscribing as well. Also, if you guys are on Instagram, you can follow me there too. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. Now, it's really important that I preface this by saying that there's no single oil that will magically give you those Rapunzel gains that many others have proclaimed. What I will say is that if you find a methodology to give your scalp a boost so that your strands are more resistant to breakage and that they are healthier, then theoretically you minimize the obstacles that get in the way of hair growth, thereby accelerating that hair growth, if that makes sense. And while there may be more than three oils that work, and by the way, comment down below if I didn't mention one that has worked for you, I chose to stick with these three because they all share three things in common. One, they contain essential nutrients like your fatty acids and vitamin A and E, which promote hair health and growth. Two, they help prevent damage by helping lubricate and strengthen the hair shaft as well as nourish the scalp. And three, they can reduce inflammation since we all know that scalp inflammation causes hair loss. And yeah, that's why I chose these three, starting with the first being rosemary oil. Rosemary oil can soothe the scalp and stimulate new hair growth. This is because rosemary oil boosts blood circulation to the hair follicle. So much so that it was tested against 2% minoxidil in this study and showed it may be just as effective as a natural alternative. Which is also interesting is that it serves as a way to control the spread of microorganisms like certain bacteria and fungi from growing. So much so that this study suggests it may yield as a promising agent in toothpastes, mouthwashes, ointments, and soap. The one by Mayel is a super popular one and has helped tremendously for some, but you might not be able to get your hands on it because the popularity is through the roof. And it makes sense. They contain no sulfates, mineral oils, and contain biotin and overall very clean ingredients. Now, this isn't a sponsored video at all. I just knew I had to address one of the fastest growing natural hair growth products on the market, which I did leave a below a link to find one in the description as well, as well as the alternative favorite of mine down there as well. Secondly, we got thyme essential oil. The reason why thyme may play a role is because it promotes hair growth by both stimulating the scalp as well as treating alopecia areata. This randomized trial looked at 86 people over seven months with essential oils, thyme, rosemary, which we mentioned, lavender, and cedarwood mixed in a mixture of carrier oils, jojoba, and grapeseed, and found the results to be safe and effective. And the thing with these carrier oils, because essential oils are so strong on their own, it is best to dilute them with a the carrier oil so you can cover a larger surface area without needing too much of it. And currently my favorite one right now is the one by Gaia Labs, which is 100% pure therapeutic grade thyme oil, which you can mix three to four drops with the carrier oil, massage into a clean hair and scalp, and use it two to three times a week. And last but not least, pumpkin seed oil. A significant study about pumpkin seed oil and hair loss actually got published in 2014. It found that pumpkin seed oil blocks the action of 5-alpha reductase and has anti-androgenic effects on rats. And in 2019, the study on pumpkin seed oil as a topical hair growth promoting agent showed hair growth promotion and how it might be regarded as a promising alternative for treatment of male pattern alopecia. The 100% pure organic cold press by Rejuve Naturals seems to be a good one in my opinion as it's bottled in the US, has no hexane, and is also cruelty free. I also have a series of other videos I made on hair growth that you can watch below too on DHD blockers, Moringa, Fenugreek, Rogaine, Collagen, and Biotin. Although I would love to see more research to confirm the use of these oils for hair growth, I think it can be a safe and great starting point 
to tackle hair loss and promote hair growth in general? I'm more curious to actually hear from you. Leave your comments down below and click the subscribe button if you found any value. And I'll see you guys on the next one.